like, no, I don't have time to be discouraged. Be strong and courageous. You got it, you got it. You make your attitudes. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about discouragement. It's a little bit different, but I know there are so many people out there that can be down in the dumps and, you know, discouraged from whatever it may be in their lives. I know that I have, and I had an amazing revelation on how to deal with discouragement, how to pick yourself up and move forward in your life. So I needed to share, and um, I hope this video encourages anybody out there that needs it. Share this, like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. I don't know if you guys know Pastor Chris. He had a sermon on YouTube that I watched one Sunday and I will try to link it down below. And in the video he said, you're not allowed to be discouraged. And if anybody tells you that, you know, it's okay to sometimes be discouraged, you shouldn't be listening to them because they're not telling you the truth. And I was like, what? Like, everybody gets discouraged sometimes. Like, isn't it like okay to get discouraged? And then he pulls up the scriptures to back it up and you know that okay, like what he's saying is true. Basically he pulled up so many scriptures that said, be strong and courageous, be strong and courageous, be strong and courageous. And Psalms 31 verse 24 says, be of good courage. He shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. You have to know where your hope lies. And he said he will strengthen your heart if you tell yourself, to be of good courage. I believe that you make the attitude that you have in your, like you make your attitudes. If you tell yourself this, if you tell yourself that you have to be strong and courageous because the word says you are strong and courageous, even if you don't believe it, the Lord will strengthen your heart in order for you to believe it. He'll strengthen your heart until you believe it. You know, like that to me was just like, wow, like, if I'm going through something and I'm just like, huh, hmm, like, no, I don't have time to be discouraged. Let me pull up another one that says it too. Okay, let's go. It says, only be strong and very courageous that you may observe and do according to the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it right or left, that you may prosper everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, you will prosper. He says, only be strong and courageous. Only. You fail at something and you're like, oh, I can't do this. God's voice in the back of your head. It says, haven't I told you only to be strong and courageous? Yes, he has. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go fight it. Like that was it for me. Like what else do I need? How many times does the Bible have to say, be strong and courageous, be of good courage, only have courage for me to believe it and for me to manifest it. Having faith in God himself is literally where it all begins. If you have faith in the Lord, you say, okay, Lord, you are the one that told me that I should be strong and very courageous and I should trust in you. And if I trust in you, I won't be disgraced. I won't be ashamed if I trust in you. Then I'm gonna trust in you because God is with me wherever I go. That's saying that like, if you get discouraged, that you're low key saying that, oh, you know, I don't, have faith that God will bring me through because it says God is with you wherever you go. So a sign of, you know, you being discouraged is a sign of saying, oh, like, you know, I don't know if God is with me. God is always with you. The word says it. That is just my little motivation of Monday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever it may be for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this was an encouragement to anybody that needed it out there. Again, I will say share this video, like, comment, and do subscribe. And let me know if you want to see more videos um, like this that are very spiritual. You know, I live my life for God and I am not ashamed of the gospel. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.